How's it going, y'all? This is revisions and editing course, lesson number one, all right? Again, all these techniques that you're about to look at, that you're about to witness, I got from a poet, writers, mentors, coaches, phenomenal international performers that I've been able to cross paths with, meet, or work with throughout the last eight years of my uh, writing career, whether it be writing workshops, professional developments, or performance opportunities, um, these techniques have been given to me um, from other people. So I'm gonna do my best to reference those poets and writers uh, throughout these lessons. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna teach you about is one of the most basic things, but when this was brought to my attention, it made me realize as writers, the most important thing we can do is make intentional decisions with our writing intentional decisions and that's how you become a poet a, a writer who is intentionally building their craft and not just letting their writing drive itself right so i'm gonna go through the basics you might think oh i might already know this but think about this as a writer as a poet who wants to start doing things intentionally first thing i don't know if you ever heard about it s y n t a x syntax Syntax was taught to me by Stephen Willis, thanks to a uh, professional development that was held at Urban Word NYC. Stephen Willis is Chicago based, um, but spent a few years in New York City. Um, but I know for sure Stephen represents uh, Chicago. Syntax, right? The placement of your words on paper. That's the first level of syntax because I was able to break down syntax to a multitude of different levels that we will go through within the next few videos. But this first level, is about the placement of your words, where you place your words on your paper. You gotta think about your paper as negative space, right? And that negative space communicates to someone's eyes when they're reading your work, especially if you're publishing, if you're thinking about publishing, right? So syntax is about placing your words on paper intentionally. How are you gonna place your words on paper? Do you want it center aligned, left aligned, right aligned? Are you gonna mix it up? Are you gonna write sideways, upside down? Are you gonna do concrete poetry? Look it up, it just means turning your words into an image. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do with your words? Are you gonna stretch them out, smash them? Think about uh, David Hollier's work. Look up David Hollier on Instagram. Does a lot of phenomenal different people's faces, but with words. At the end of the day, words are shapes. What are you gonna do with these words on paper? Are you gonna bold them? Are you gonna uh, underline them? Do you want them to have different fonts or sizes on your paper? Don't just write and then look at your stanzas, left centered, looks lovely, I love it so much. No, don't marry your work, all right? When you take someone on a date, are you gonna marry them on the first day? I won't judge you, but you know, you wanna take your writing on a few revision courses Take it on a few trips before you marry your writing, before you say, yes, now I'm satisfied where this is at. I've seen so many writers write something for the first time and be like, yo, Sergio, this is fire, I love it. I'm like, hold on now. Can we revise it? Can we edit it, right? So when you write, fine. The first draft is a draft, it's a draft. But after you finish it, ask yourself, are there words that I want to be bold? Are there lines that I want in the center or on the right? Do I want the whole thing to be center aligned? Um, are there words that I want to have different sizes play around with that negative space on your paper and how your words are presented on that negative space whether it's the font whether it's the size whether it's the color that negative space on your paper is your opportunity to translate your words for a reader to visually see they're not just reading it you're seeing it so think about that this is lesson number one 